We're in the closet, ready we to are. have some fun, chit chat a little. We are. I don't even know what we're going to talk about. You said chit chat. You said chit chat. I said, why do I say chit chat? I don't know why. You naturally said. came off of the end of my tongue. I don't know why you my lips. say some of the things that you say. Just like the other day in the car, you said this word, and I was like, don't ever say that again in my presence. And I can't remember what it was. It was the weirdest word I've ever heard you say. It's Putinanny. Don't, don't say that, please. What even is that? Uh, it's Putinanny. <laughs> it's your vagina. It's in between your legs. It's please. the Putinanny. Okay, that's... Give that's, me some of that Putinanny, girl. Okay. That's the last <laughs> time you will ever say that word around me. That's the last time. Oh. The last time. The very last time. I have a hard time in believing that. No, seriously, don't. It's one of those words that I just... You have certain words that you hear and you're like, oh, I can't stand that word. That is one of them. I understand. Especially coming out of your mouth. But anyway, what's up? I will respect that for now. Thank you. What's up is it is nice out. Weather's, very comfortable. Weather's nice. Weather's nice. We're headed towards the fall. Shh. I'm not ready to give summer up yet. Well, fall doesn't wait for you to be ready. Fall comes That's when exactly it wants. That's exactly why we need to move to the beach. Good <laughs> Lord almighty. Freaking A, man. You opened the door. I had to step in. I had to put my foot in one more time. What'd you say? What'd you say to me yesterday or last night or maybe it was this morning about what we need to talk about on the podcast? Do you remember mm. that? What was that? Yeah, it was. It was about okay. So th- yes, it yesterday. I okay. Let me back up. I never, except for twice a year, usually only once a year, sometimes twice, depending. I never wear red lipstick. I wear red lipstick. For Christmas and sometimes Valentine's Day. Well, yesterday I was getting ready. Jeff and I were going to go out to eat before we had some people over for a podcast. And I got into my makeup bag and I and I just, it, you know, ladies, you already know we can put on lipstick normally. Like I don't wear a lip liner, but we can put on lipstick basically without a mirror. We really don't need a mirror, or at least I don't. You think you don't? Anyway. And so I went to my makeup bag. I, like, grabbed out the lipstick. And I don't even know why the red was in there. But I grabbed out lipstick. And I turned my head to do something else. And I was kind of putting on my lipstick at the same time. And I turned back around. And it was red. And I was like, what the? Like, I didn't need. I don't even know how it got into my makeup bag. I don't wear red lipstick. It's usually in my top drawer reserved for two times a year. Well, I put it on. I was like, you know what? And red lipstick is hard to get off, okay? So I had to go with it. Right. Right. And Jeff does not like red lipstick on me. Period. He just doesn't. It's his It's his right. Whatever. He can like what he likes. And I turned around when I saw the red lipstick. I was like, great. I'm going on a date with Jeff and he hates red lipstick. Here I go. But I did it anyway. And I, and I, and I, and I took some selfies because I've been called she the selfie. I've been me. called the selfie queen and I will take that crown and wear it. I'm fine with it. So I sent him one. I'm like, look, I was on red lipstick. And he was like, oh, with hard eyes. And I know he's faking it because he doesn't like red lipstick. Well, anyway, long story short. You still were beautiful. I, po- I posted it. It's just not it. my first choice for your lips. I posted it as a poll on Instagram. You know how you can do a poll? And I and I, I specifically put red lipstick. And then the one thing I was like, yes, girl, yes. And the other one I put, no, go take it off now. Hmm. Okay. The results of the poll were with a landslide yes girl yes it was 95 well actually at the end of the poll it was like 92 what was it i don't know two people it basically 30 some people said yes girl yes and two people so me and another yes said to take it off you didn't say to take it off there was a dude that said no go take it off and one of my clients which i'm going to talk to her about this tomorrow when i when i see her why she said that two people said take it off okay so 30 versus two I should feel pretty good about the red lipstick, right? I should feel pretty confident. But it's just the, those, I'll, I'll never wear it again, not till Christmas, because those two people didn't like it. So why the, the point I was making was why do we take a bunch of compliments? Because by people voting yes, I felt like that was a compliment for the red lipstick. The two people and Jeff, but even take Jeff out of the equation. Yeah, because I didn't mind it. Because I already know you don't like it. It's not my favorite, but I I don't I don't mind. But those two people, one of them being a perfect stranger, right? The other one I do know, affected me. 
And I was like, I shouldn't be wearing red lipstick. Why is that? I wish I had the article, or I wish I had. I, I think I. I think it was when I was listening to a neurologist. I'm such a nerd. Yeah, you really are. In a podcast, but that's actually something that we have to really focus on is positive energy and positive self talk all the time, because in those type of situations, our brain for some reason is programmed to just focus on the negative. Like it, it's it's, and I don't know if it's just like a a natural evolutionary thing where you want to improve naturally deep in your soul, like deep in your gut. Like our purpose on this earth is to like improve constantly. Right. So I don't know if it's like, okay, and this is just me. I'm not a scientist. All that I just said is nothing. I'm not like regurgitating it. This is just my brain flowing and it makes no sense probably. But I'm, what I'm going with is that evolutionary, like, need to be the best and need to survive and need to fight and so you take 50 positive comments and then you get two negative comments and you discard all 50 right right like you just your mind does it before you can even recognize it absolutely you don't even realize you're doing it it just automatic we all do it Mm -hmm. I do it you know you, you help you help tons of people every day I, I do phone calls and, and, and consulting people and getting them through issues and helping them sell things and that can go on for two weeks of just tons of people that I help and I get positive feedback but as soon as someone complains about me yeah. it's like it overwhelms me I don't think right well I'm good at this because I've helped 200 people in the last week and this one person isn't happy with with the way I handled something. Right. So now I'm feeling like a loser, right? You feel like a loser because No, I totally understand. One that. negative thing, like you said, it's crazy. It's nuts. I don't know why we do that. I should have just been happy with the thirty some people that said yes, you definitely need to wear it. It yeah. just went and just be like in your face. Like, Screw Jeff and those other two people. That's right. I'm wear but I don't like red lipstick either. Right. So really at the end of the day, even if it had been 100% across the board, I wouldn't wear red lipstick any more than I already do. Yesterday was an accident, people. I'm not wearing it again. Oh, you're leaving them hanging. You're going to get them all. You're, they're going to want it even more now. So today. From limited edition. So, <laughs> We're retiring the red. So today, I don't even like to wear red. It's not I even like lipstick. I like red, like red lingerie. Chip, I haven't had red. lingerie on in years. Okay, red panties. That's I don't own me. a pair of all red you panties. you do. Oh, I do. Red and black. Yeah, They're duh. all ripped up. Yeah, you did own some other ones too, a red thong, but it's kind of rough, you said. Yeah, see, that's just it. Some thongs are You remember are that really... one, the red one? I don't know. Yeah, the red one. We've had it forever. We've had it like it's yours. It's mine. They're my do pets. Do you wear it? They're my pets. I have names you, for all of your you pair of panties. Do you get into... I, I'm just going to No, I just like to something. see them on you. I don't wear them very often. No, you don't. That's why it's so special when you I do. don't wear panties very often because... You're such a hoe. No, it's because most of my yoga pants, if not all of them, have like the the liner in there. So you don't have to wear them. Yeah, I got you. I don't know why I disclosed that. Well, everybody you know now. Maybe we should Angie, edit she's this. she's probably not wearing panties. Well, if I have on straight clothes, I am, obviously. Most of the time. All, all the time. Cool. I don't even know what I, where were we going with this. I don't like to wear a red period is what I'm saying. So Let's it's not do a just poll. Like, no, I'm not going to do a poll. Okay. So we're, we talked about your red hate. Right. I don't like it. And we're it. talking about our brains and the negativity, a positive self-talk. Right. Like. Well, I, I read something today on Instagram about positive self-talk, and I can't remember what it said exactly and I probably couldn't find it but it's basically saying we make up things in our head that are negative and we believe that that's what's happened you know what I'm saying like you'll 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 be having a perfectly good day and something will pop and you'll start having like you said negative self-talk or something or you're you'll start telling a story about it like something happened and in your mind it happened this way and that's what you're believing when in reality it may not have even happened like that at all. It's like your jump to conclusions, Matt, that we always talk about. Right. So we, we, 
I, I don't know. I wish I could find that on Instagram. That was good because yeah, we just I let our we let that. our brains and our minds run away with things that happen. Probably ninety nine percent of the time don't happen. Right, and and right, and we let it wreck our day. Right, or wreck a, a, a some part of our day. Right. Um, even Brooke posted something on her Instagram the other day, and she said, "What was it? I have to go find it." Um. It was about worry, basically, and it was just about, you know, don't waste your time worrying because it's probably not going to happen anyway, right? Because we right. we sit around here and we worry about things, which we all do it. Um, yeah, it's just part of life. But there's there's practices to help you have a more positive mental outlook. Yeah. You know, but it's got to be – you got to be – got to be very intentional about it. You've got to really be focused when you get up for your day to say, I'm fighting this. I'm going to be but then, positive. But then you get in the car and you go to work and you get with your day and then you get weak. You wake up and you may be getting ready. You may be looking in the mirror. You may be doing your positive self-talk. You may be self-reflecting. You may be praying. You may be meditating and you may be feeling really good. But then you get in your car and then you drive away and the first person that cuts you off in traffic, now you're cussing and now you're mad and now you're steaming and now you're just like in a mood. That's my thing though. fast. But that's my thing though. It's something that takes so much effort to make it your lifestyle, like to make it throughout the day. It's who you are, right? That takes tons of time, or it might take years of you falling back on your face and getting mad at the person that cut you off. It's not to say you won't get mad at the person that cut you off, right. but you'll be able to refocus. Well, you, you know haven't learned that yet. I haven't. I haven't I'm not either. saying I have. I have but horrible rhetoric. For me, it's like meditation. Like meditation, it's, it's like being able to refocus yourself I back I still can't to your, believe you meditate. It, it takes anxiety out, like, boom. You do 10 minutes of meditation, and you feel like a different person. But here's here's what I was going to say. Meditation, the whole thing is just to, like, just to be present in the moment and, and focus on something. It can be on your breathing. It can be on your your chest moving in and out. It can be... but And then you find yourself, your mind wandering, and then you, you, you go, okay, I'm, I need to refocus. I need to be releasing like I need to live in the moment so instead of getting caught up in that thought you bring you to go back to the breathing I've stopped focusing on my breathing so like to be able to take yourself from the guy cutting you off and curse them out that's going to happen still but to be able to get ourselves back and not let that like eat our day up and not let that create our what 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 word am I looking for N- not letting that shape our attitude for the day. Yeah. That we can refocus and we can go, okay, that happened, that sucked. But I'm I'm good. I'm that was back just on like track. that's just like when you walked upstairs to do our podcast tonight and you went in our son's room. I heard you going off and I was like, I'm gonna stay down here for a second. But you refocused. Well, I did. It's not easy with the kids. And the sad well, thing is, and the thing that makes me feel better is, I go in there because he's excited to show me something. I know. I was, I was, I was like, oh man, he was. You know, sh- did he I, show you at least? Yes. And I was like, oh man, that's awesome. That's so cool. And then I start noticing cups everywhere and food, and I just my I neck know. starts to swell up, right? Because I'm like, how many times have I told you? I know. So then I lose it. Yeah, and when know. I say lose it, people, I'm not screaming and throwing things. I'm just being very preachy. And telling him, if you don't get all this stuff cleaned up, down to the sink. But guess who's going to get to wash all that? That's what I told him. That's my point. That's what I was going off about. I'm like, you don't care about the people who have to take care of you. You've got to take this stuff down. You only have one cup. We wouldn't have to. Now we're going to sit down there and wash cups. You know what I mean? Right. People out there like, they don't have. No, we don't have a dishwasher. We live in West Virginia. We have an outhouse. No. And we have our little house I'm going to stop you right there and correct it because you're dancing over an issue. We do, in fact, have a dishwasher. But it has not been working since before Christmas. Now, look. That and was, why is that, Mr. We, JMR? We were here's why. Let me tell you why. Yeah, please do. I want to hear. This is it. a very important lesson for you as well, young lady. Don't call me young lady. Don't talk down to me. I am not a young lady to you. <laughs> I'm not talking down to you. I was when you call fun. someone young lady, you're talking down to him. Listen, let's just let's quiet down. Let's pipe down. Okay, okay. <laughs> Buck. <laughs> tell here's, me why. Here's the deal. Well, it's Christmas. 
I don't Almost know. again. Let, let's calm down for a minute. I don't know if I don't know if anybody out there has problems paying for things. <laughs> but it's for us, we have that problem. So when your dishwasher goes out around Christmas, you can't fix it. You know why? Christmas was a long time ago. Shh. Don't do that either. So after Christmas, we go a few weeks, and now everybody's doing these dishes. Everybody's learning responsibility. Oh gosh! So now I'm like, this is really great for our family. This is good for the kids to know they got to wash their dishes. It adds to the chores. They got to be responsible. They got to appreciate dishwashers. So now the kids are washing dishes all the time. No, they're not. I am. They still are washing dishes. A little bit at the time. Well, I do the majority of the dishes. Look, it's Screw me really you. making. It's really. It's well, good. You need to wash some dishes. You know what? You need to self-reflect while you're washing dishes. We do not live in the day and age where the women have to do all the dishes. I did dishes today. Twice. Oh, gosh, please. Twice I did the freaking dishes. Please. Twice. And I'll probably do them again. I'm not doing them today. Well, good. Anyway. anyway. It's enough on the dishes. We're going can, back can to... Can we... No, I want to stay here for a second. Oh, God. What? Why are we staying here? Because when are you going to get the dishwasher fixed? You can't get it fixed. I'm going to have to buy a new dishwasher. Why? How do you know? Why? Because I know I've looked at it. You're not a dishwasher man. Well, then we'll call a dishwasher man. That's what I've been trying to get you to do since last Christmas. Okay. Just to see what the heck's wrong with it. It could be a simple part you can order on Amazon for seven ninety nine, Amazon Prime, and it'll be here tomorrow. And he'd be like, you just pop it on here. Well, I'll call Jeff's appliances and we'll have him come over and check it out. I mean, I don't understand why that's so hard. Then why don't you do it? You got a phone? That's a man's job. To call the appliance guy is a man's job now? Yep. Okay. Well, just be patient. <laughs> be patient? It's been almost a year. I know. I have this problem with streaks. You know that I have a problem with streaks. I love streaks. My tags run out. Now I've got an obligation to get caught eventually, but how long can I go before I get caught? Jeff, right? I don't know. And now we've thinking. got this run of no dishwasher, and it's like I there's oh, it's some... so awesome too. We have this great house, plenty of room. We do have a great and house. We do have a great house, but all of our appliances are broken in some way, shape, or form, except the microwave. Well, you know what? And the most this important, is true. your your statement two, is true. Two of our two of the burners on the stove aren't aren't working. Right. That, so that we, means we need a stovetop. I need to take that apart again. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. And then the dishwasher, of course, and the refrigerator freaks out. The ice maker's jacked up. It, it's just ice maker's fine if you don't mess it up. Oh my gosh. Anyway, ice maker makes good ice. It didn't say anything it makes about those making moon shaped ice. I didn't say anything about the quality of the ice. Okay. It I'm gets sorry, jammed up. Then, then, then it gets jammed up. And then you walk away and you come back 30 First minutes later. <laughs> you come back 30 minutes later and you're stepping in puddles on the floor because the ice is dropped out and melted on the floor. You know what we need to put down there? A rug. The one right there that's absorbent. And then we can just put a we can just put a towel here, right? Sure. I'm doing it. When we leave this closet, I'm taking it. Cuz that there. matches our kitchen. It's stainless steel. It's great. <laughs> it's a stainless steel rug. Uh, you know what? I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. We need to paint our kitchen anyway. Oh, the list continues to pile you up. You know for what, Mr. guys? Runyon. Listen, I don't know that I've updated you guys on this. I'm pregnant. <laughs> no, I'm not. Dear Lord, help me. Oh, here's a funny story. I'm going to back up to this other thing in a minute. Oh, God, please do. Speaking of being pregnant or having kids or babies or whatever, I was sitting outside today in my little lounge chair and I fell asleep. I was in like twilight. Right. Right. Where right. I'm like asleep, but like I can hear my surroundings. Right. But I was almost like asleep, asleep. And I was relaxed and chilled. And I heard that baby next door scream. And I jumped up like it was mine. Like I needed to do something. Right. And then I I remembered blissfully, I don't have little kids. It felt so good. I It did. I was like, somebody else has got to get that brat. It was so great. That's it was nice. so great. Anyway, back to my story. 
Update. No, I am not pregnant, but JMR has put up the ceiling fan in the closet. We've announced that. Okay. I didn't know if we did, but guess what? There's another thing on your list you haven't done that I need to remind everybody so we can keep on you. Guess what it is? What is it that I've really been wanting other than moving to the beach? Oh, that's what my answer is going to be. <laughs> I know that's not happening anytime soon, but in two years I'm going. Where, what's the other thing? Or what are you asking me? What, what, do, what have we had in every single house that we, we've been you in here? You want a freaking every... chalk wall. Yes, I know this. A chalkboard wall. Yes, a chalkboard wall. Well, why aren't and we doing it? We need to just get the chalk paint. And then I can paint the they wall. And then Lowe's. I'll be freaking having bra- drawings up there all the time. I know. You're going to be like, I need you to do a drawing for fall. <laughs> and I need you to do a drawing for Thanksgiving and Halloween. And I need you to do a drawing for Oktoberfest. You're mean. I need you to do a drawing for Hanukkah and you, Christmas. You like to draw. It doesn't bother you. You did an amazing one when we lived in uh, a couple houses ago. Over Beaumont. Yeah, and you did one for spring, and it was like an umbrella, and it had all of our names dripping down. Like, it was really cute. It was good, actually. That was neat. You know what I wish I would have done when we left and we moved out? I know you wanted, you wanted to write a message on there. I, I did, but what I should have done You is, did write a message no, on there? I wanted to. I should have drawn a huge, veiny dong. You should have. On it. That would have been amazing. That would have been cool, man. I like a chalkboard wall, okay? I like a chalkboard wall. When you walk in, it's welcoming. It's it, We have in the past, we have had So we look like an party. Anytime Fitness. We've had a party. And everybody signed the wall. It was really cool. That was cool, yeah. It was. A lot of people did sign the wall. You you bust on my ideas. I really. I love the I love listen, the chalk ball idea. I, I don't think you really like me I, anymore. <laughs> 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 I hear that forty times a year since the day we were married. You come around. What are you talking about? You 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 say that at least probably twenty times a year. I don't think you like me anymore. No, I don't. At least. You're Every lying. Every year. Whatever. But you get over it, and it's fine. You understand I like you. You Whatever. get it. Whatever. Whatever. Who, who wouldn't like this beautiful woman in front of me? Oh, my god! Stroking her hair like a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> With her readers perched Shut, on top. See what I mean? <laughs> Leave my readers alone. You don't understand. When I turned 41, I think it was... I, I I was fine one day, right? I could see, I could, it, I was, it was fine. And then I was at CVS. I was with you. No, you weren't. I was there when you couldn't find anything and we finally grabbed some readers and you're like, oh my gosh, I can see. Really? Yes. I didn't know that was you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I was I was like reading the back of like a bottle. Well, no, it happened first when I was in the shower and I was reading the back of I had got new conditioner, like a, a deep conditioner, like a leave-in conditioner. I was trying to figure out how long you leave the freaking thing on your hair for. And I turned the bottle over and I put it at a reasonable distance that you would read the back of a bottle. And I was like, "Well, shoot. I must have water in my eyes." So I like wiped my eyes out. And I'm like, well, this bottle must have water. I wiped the bottle off. I was like, I can't read the freaking thing. I was like, it's just because it's fine print, whatever. No, so and now she then, has reader's goggles for so that. So then uh, reader goggles. I went to CVS or wherever it was, and I was comparing to – I was comparing Advil to Motrin or something like that just because I was trying to kill time. I was like, I can't see these words. This is how you kill time? Well, I was waiting for something like a prescription, oh, well, and I was like, <laughs> two, "Let's take two, uh, let's take two painkillers and really check them out." No, here. I think Still somebody little... asked me a question about I don't know, whatever. And so then I guess you were there, and I was like, "I want to go see if those readers in the back actually work." And I picked out a, like a low, a low, I don't know, not in dose, but a low uh, strength right. of readers, and I put them on. And I was like, "Well, damn." They do work. I'm buying them, and I bought them. You did. Now I have a bunch of them. And then another funny story about readers. Do you remember the time when I was at, again, the said the same said CVS, and I was getting, what was I getting? It was random stuff. It was like pads or like tampons. What was it? Tampons, a protein drink, maybe some vodka, and some readers. 
and I would go up to the counter. Wasn't it CVS? You can't get vodka. Okay, well, it was right. It was Rite Aid then. It was right there on down in South Charleston. So I have this weird mix of things, and I go up to the thing and I put everything down. And there's this like young guy working behind the counter, and he goes, "Do you have a Rite Aid wellness card?" And I was like, "I need to put my number in," and he goes. He slides a piece of paper over in a pencil. He goes, just write this number down. I'll put it in for you. And I was like, yeah, no, nice try. You're just trying to get my number. And he started laughing. He was like, you can't help a guy for trying. And I was like, you do realize that I'm old enough to be your mom and I'm buying readers, tampons, vodka, and a protein drink. And he started laughing. (laughs) And then he goes, are you going to write your number down? Yeah. Guys don't give up. They don't. He was young, too. Like, I'm talking young, like college kid. And I'm like, you know, if you're a college kid, no, if you're a college kid and you're ringing somebody up and it's that mixture, I would think he'd be like, I'm only that bitch alone. He was looking at you, not what you were buying. You know what people are buying. I mean, I'm buying alcohol, protein drinks, hot, hot readers, and tampons. He's like, this girl is hot. He ain't looking at nothing but you and your beautiful face. I just thought it was a funny story. I thought it was funny. That's all he's looking at, which is cool. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rite Rite Aid Man, for recognizing. So he, I finally what wrote my number I down. Have created. And now, now we text. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I help him with his homework. I help him with his algebra. I type his papers. <laughs> he gives me back rubs. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> oh my goodness! So yes, I wear readers. Leave me alone, and I do put them on top of my head. You know what? Don't, you know what? It's Screw not off. A, look, it's not a negative thing. You need to have more positive self-talk. You need to make those How can I have positive. positive self-talk when my husband's looking me in the face making fun of me? Who? How am I making fun of you, baby? Oh, you have those readers perched on top of your head. Right. It's sexy. You're like a librarian. We're doing that librarian the word perch role play thing, is right? not se- The word perch is not sexy. I was trying sexy. to use a, a expanded vocabulary because I was getting into that, the whole, like, nerd thing for the library. Well, you... Or the nerd... Bangs the librarian. Okay, that you need to just back that up. And That's what he said. <laughs> so, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't use the word perch. Okay, no more perch. Or poot nanny. <laughs> oh, it's a P night. <laughs> Let's see how many words can we come up. This is the, not the Sesame whack. Street. It is not a Angela's letter of like, the day. I hate your P words. Keep your P words to yourself. This is not Sesame Street. Is Sesame Street even on anymore? No, they probably got freaking. They probably were like, they used the wrong gender pronouns and they're off the air or something. That was a that was a really strange show if you think about it. That's because they were all smoking no, up, was, man. They, had, they had to have been. They, they were, had they were, to man. have they were been. They like so blown out of their minds. There's a big bird and then there's the Oscar the Grouch in a trash can. Right. And then there's a Snuffleupagus. Yeah. There's a Cookie Monster. There's a Bert and Ernie who I think had a... Gay affair? Yes. I like believe that's what they, they say. They were a couple, right? Right. Were they a gay couple? Then there was the Count. The Count. Yep. Ernie. I already said that. I must like him. Then Elmo came along. It was a really weird show because it was like puppets, but yet mascots, but yet cartoons, but yet humans. They were all freaking high. They were high. Had to have been. Oh, they were. They were tripping. They were smoking. They were smoking. They are doing some, some LSD or something. Yeah. They're they're partying. They're having fun. But it was a very positive opening theme song. Well, that's what the stuff does to you. That's what weed does to you. It makes you positive. It makes you feel better. It makes you sunny days sweeping the clouds away. Are you sure that's the song for yeah. that? Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. On my way to where the air is clear, right? I don't know. Why would I know this stuff? Because you, you watch Sesame Street. I, when I was like a child. <laughs> I watched it when I was a child too. But You I remember... watched it the other night. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I remembered the theme song. That's good. I'm glad you remembered. I don't remember it. I mean, I do. When you were singing it, I'm like, yeah, that sounds familiar. I, I know that. But is that really the Can song? Can you tell me how to get? It is how to get to Sesame Street. <laughs> Okay. All so right. Sesame Street had a letter of the day, like a number of the day, I think. And P is our letter of the day. Anyway. For Putin what Annie, was your what was your perch that Putin any up? Oh my god. <laughs> no. We, we might we might have to end on that. I'm I'm that is literally is going to be the last time you say that. I will throat punch you if you say it again. 
Okay. We can get into that. <sighs> you know what? Let's just shut this down. Yeah, let's do. Let's let's enjoy the rest of the evening. Okay, sounds great. All right, everybody. Okay, bye.